See, thank you very much, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hard task for me after lunch to start, but it should be better as siesta. But uh, I will do. I think it's uh, quite interesting what we are leaving. I'm coming from the economic field. I am general manager of the company. But uh, we were, in a certain way, uh, we went on the way of uh, sustainability in 2007 as our company, Aquafil, which has the CSG um, in, uh, in uh, Arco, in, near Trento, in Italy. And uh, when we started to, to think about uh, nature, to think about sustainability, we came also to, to, this, to this project. So with our initiative is together with the Healthy Seas, which is an ONG from, from uh, uh, Holland. It's a Dutch ONG. And um, uh, we are focused on uh, ghost fishing nets. We are focused on this because uh, we have a production in Slovenia where we have a one hour uh, plant and where I am the general manager, where we are recovering not only fishing nets, but we are recovering all kinds of um, post-consumer and post-industrial uh, ways of nylon. Uh, if we speak about nylon, we, we have different types of nylon. Uh, we are speaking about, especially about the PA6 nylon. Um, we are one of the leader of the production of this of this yarn in in Europe, and and we started this project because we consider this waste of nylon a good source for our um, activities. Some, uh, some data, if we're speaking about uh, fishing nets, uh, we have about 640,000 tons of abundant fishing nets uh, in the oceans. Uh, another parameter which is very important, every, every year uh, they, are, um, they fabric approximately in the whole world uh, around 100,000 tons of fishing nets. It's a new made fishing nets, which then are using. These fishing nets, of course, they are going also for either for fishing, either for, for fish farms. <coughs> so this initiative uh, started with, uh, as I told you, with this uh, NGO uh, group, ECNC, from, from Holland, a Dutch company. <coughs> then, uh, our group, Aquafield Group, we are a unique example in this kind of activities because we have the system and the so-called Econil system, which I will speak and explain a little bit later, when we are able to recover and to transform uh, this nylon. So it's not only collecting the material, but it's also transforming and um, um, putting back in the, in the, um, in, uh, back in the production. And then a star sock, this is a company who, who is, who is um, knitting uh, specialty socks for many, many uh, big uh, world uh, sports and sports garment uh, companies. So what is the initiative? So the waste, a journey from waste to where is, is really an exciting uh, program. Um, it's the marine, first of all, the marine protection. So this is uh, non-profit activities, include the recovery of fishing nets by volunteer, volunteer divers and their storage in special facility, facilities in addition to educational and prevention program. This is made mostly from this uh, ECNC um, uh, ONG, ONG uh, company. Then is the regeneration from fishing nets to yarn, where we, uh, we are entering as an industrial producer. We have, as I told you, this uh, facility in Slovenia, and we are recovering in a special storage. Many of uh, you who, who are in Slovenia, you visited it. We have a 15,000 square, square meter big storage. There we collect all the waste from, from, the, uh, from the nylon six, which we are buying all around the world, from the United States to, uh, to India. Um, especially we are focused on the fishing nets, especially we are focused on the fluff, it means this part of the wall-to-wall um, -wall carpet, which always is made from nylon six and on which we are, we are collecting in, in, 
in one plant in Aydoshina in Slovenia. There we have uh, first an, a mechanical work on it. So for example, we, we, if, we, if we speak about the fishing nets, we cut the boas, we cut the rows which are on the fishing nets because they are mostly from, from polypropylene. So we can't transform. This we sell to other transformers in, in Europe, especially in Austria and Hungary. And, uh, and uh, when we, we have the only uh, part, which is only nylon, and of course you have also other, other things, but we speak about from uh, at least from 76 to 78 percent of nylon, then uh, this we sent to our chemical plant in Ljubljana, which is the capital city of Slovenia, and there uh, we have a, a real depolymerizing process, which we are going coming out from this um, uh, uh, nylon waste, we are coming back to the, to the raw material for the nylon, which is caprolactam, which is coming out from the um, petroleum industry. And from this caprolactam, we are going back to, to the uh, polymerization, then we are doing the granules, and from the granules again, uh, the yarn. So we are closing uh, the loop. And um, we started in 2011, it was for us a very uh, an important investment. It was uh, more, more than 20 million uh, euros just for this. But was in what, is, what is very important is this, that we are the only one on the world today that we are able to manage uh, this kind of activities. So we are very proud on this. We have a lot of difficulties, it's not easy because uh, also for sourcing the, the, the material, also because we started uh, in 2011 and we planned to, to produce about 7,000 tons per year and today in 2014 the forecast is already on 20,000 tons. So 20,000 tons of waste that we are collecting, so it's more because uh, we, we then some we must, we must throw away, so about we are collecting 25 to 25,000 tons, and then we are regenerated back in the in the in these uh, nylons. Um, of course, everything everything is uh, patent. Uh, also, the production uh, field, uh, the the final product uh, we are calling him Econil, and maybe you can already see in some in some sports garment or in uh, carpet industry, you can already see this Econil. Uh, uh, um, logo, which means that it's our product and made from uh, from regenerated uh, nylon. So the products you you can you can see the, you can uh, we can use it from nylon or for. Uh, okay, thank you. We can use from nylon or uh, we can use for garments or all all for wall to wall carpet as we have here inside. So in in uh, this uh, healthy seas um, program. Uh, we are focused on uh, special programs in the North Sea, um, uh, in Holland and in Belgium. We already have some uh, uh, diving uh, uh, excursions. So in North Sea, we have 10 diving trips. Well, it was one day expedition and three diving trips, one day expedition. So they collected uh, some fishing nets from the bottom of the sea and uh, sent us to, Ljubljana, to Slovenia where we uh, converted uh, back in in nylon. Yeah, it, it's not my it's not my music. Okay, it's good. Now. So these are uh, also some activities that uh, that uh, we are doing. You, uh, we are doing. You can read it. Uh, we had, uh, of course, uh, they are doing a lot of uh, prevention, especially between the fishermen and also who is collecting. And uh, we see, especially in emerging countries, that it, that is an interest to collect now these uh, fishing nets and to sell uh, to us because uh, of course they can earn, everybody can earn uh, some money. 
uh, we are doing a, a very good business with the fish farmers because uh, they have in in certain countries they have um, uh, to change uh, because of insurance uh, um, problems they have to change these fishing nets uh, every every year before this fishing net sometimes they were just cut it and uh, left on the bottom side of the sea or uh, put on the landfill and uh, now also these uh, fish farmers are interested to collect them to clean them and then and then to sell us they are mm, very big uh, from especially from northern sea they are very big nets uh, sometimes one net it's uh, just for one for one truck so just to understand, to, to understand the, the, how, how huge is the, the, this market. So uh, the, about the products, I already told you, uh, we have uh, in fashion, uh, now it's a very big uh, uh, interest uh, to, uh, to do and to, to do garments from all kind of um, regenerated material. Of course, nylon is uh, the best one for sports uh, garments and for, so also for swimwear. So we are very, very close to, to, to these uh, producers. You, you see, for example, the Coru swimwear. Then uh, we have um, interest, uh, of course, in the carpet uh, industry. Uh, because also there's been special in, in many countries, it's a lot of changing of this material. So the people, they are interested uh, uh, because they are um, aware about, about the environment, that when they, they get out their old carpet, they know that goes to the, again, to, the, to, to be recycled. It's also here a lot, of, a lot of work. We are buying this kind of material, especially in the United States, where they are already uh, some factories that, that are collecting only the, the fluff, the fluff of, of, the, of the carpet, and this we are buying and, and sending to Europe, and we work in Italy, uh, in Slovenia. Sorry, then uh, we have this uh, Fonda fish farm. This uh, fish farm in also in Slovenia. They are very um, active also in the environment. They are trying to, to work in this uh, field. Uh, uh, at the very sustainability um, uh, program, and uh, we are working with them, and, they, and so we have uh, also we, we can divide experiences also because because we are very close, and then uh, also interface who is in the carpet uh, knows it's a big uh, uh, multinational company, uh, uh, and they are looking a lot for this material because they want to produce more and more material from more and more carpet with, with these Econil uh, products. So you see the classical products, so uh, you see the, the carpet and the swimwear. Our partners, so when it's interface, it's, it's uh, I already told you, the saw is also from uh, Denmark, it's also an important producer of um, carpet. Then the fish farmer Fonda, Nofir, they are producing uh, fish nets, so they are also interested because also they have a lot of production, a, lo a lot of material which must be then uh, recovered again, and then uh, and other smaller partners. So the Healthy Seas a Journey from Waste to Wear initiative is an exciting project that finds its strength in the stor storytelling shared with its clients and stakeholders. The initiative offers a concrete industrial solution to an environmental problem also involving final consumers. Consumers. For this reason, we created the page What You Can Do, where general public can find out how to concretely and actively participate to the initiative. Thank you very much.